This mass is offered for the following intentions. Wedding anniversary blessings for Melroy and Melissa D'Souza. Good health of Juliana Roderick Chevalier D'Souza. Thanksgiving for favors received by the Barrow and Westoker family. Birthday blessings for Vincent Dicuna, Colleen D'Souza. Souls of Sebastian Joseph Albuquerque being the month's mind. Alfie Lutz, Letty and the Barrow family. Ida Barrow, Royce D'Souza, Rocky Rodericks, Alice Miranda, Dominic Fernandez, Baby D'Souza, Souls in Purgatory, Cecilia and Rock Pereira, Sita D'Souza, Rena and Mario Rego, and the deceased members of the family. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate the feast of Saint John de Brito, a saint from our country who gave his life for the spread of the gospel. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask this many virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy, let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who brought your martyr, blessed Saint John de Brito, to overcome the torments of his passion, grant that we who celebrate the day of his triumph may remain invincible under your protection against the snares of the enemy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul, the Corinthians. <coughs> Brethren, though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew, in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though not being myself under the law that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law, I became as one outside the law, not being outside the law of God, but under the law of Christ, that I might win those outside the law. To the weak, I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means, I might save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, that I may share with them in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run, that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. So, I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest, after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. The word of the Lord Thanks. The words of our response are, Let all the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Kindly listen to the tune. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Summon forth your might, O God. Your might, O God, which you have shown for us. From your temple high in Jerusalem, kings will come to you, 
bringing their tribute all together of the earth sing to God praise the Lord who rides on the heavens the ancient heavens behold he thunders his voice his mighty voice come acknowledge the power of God altogether let the people praise you oh, oh. let all the people praise you oh. and brought life and immortality to life through the gospel hallelujah the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john at that time among those who went up to worship at the feast were some Greeks. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now is my soul troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven, I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. The Gospel of the Lord. Yes, you have Jesus Christ. Christ our Lord. 
Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim.
act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you i love you above all things above all things and i desire and i desire to receive you to receive you into my soul into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment Receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at me spiritually. Come at me spiritually. Into my heart. Into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself. And unite myself. Holy to you. Holy to you. Never permit me. Never permit me. To be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Jesus. You were my salvation, Jesus. You're my inspiration, Jesus. You're the treasure of my life, Jesus. You offer me sight to the blind, healing the crippled, the deaf, and the mute, cleansing the leper and banishing him. Thank you, Lord. Great indeed are your works.